cool. And Thanks, we are back on. It's exactly 2.45 on the nose. Ooh. And as promised, the boys are finally going to have their nerd the alert. So go ahead, boys, and take it away. Boys back in town. <laughs> okay. But anyway, nerd alert. Nerd alert. What's the first okay. topic of the day? All right. Number two. Nardo finished last week. Sad day at chapter 700. But it's not done. There's going to be a... <laughs> <laughs> it's not done. Wait for the conclusion next year. <laughs> it's coming out that in Japan. That was too dramatic. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> and in Japan, there's going to be a, their last film that's supposed to take place after or it's within... A, what is it? A two-year time skip? Well, the last chapter was like a time skip. Yeah. Naruto has a son and daughter. Everyone's spoiler growing. alert! Everyone, yeah, spoiler, spoiler alert! Oh yeah, spoiler this alert! Is, he's like, oh, that's spoiler. Right. Yeah, I, heard, are, no, be, I totally forgot that gonna, the the Lapenta is working now with. Yeah, this we're gonna screen, be so releasing some spoilers so, really quickly. Okay, honestly, if you don't want to listen to anything we have to say, this is all spoilers. Put Everything I say, headphones. put on some headphones or your beats. Beats by Dre. Beats by Dre. Talk louder. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, there's gonna be a movie coming out. Their last Naruto movie coming out in December in Japan, which will talk about what's I don't know this plot is going to be within the time skip uh, Naruto when he's older he's a Hukage now spoiler alert I don't need to do that again it's like a master ninja yeah, just for everyone yeah. that doesn't know the leader of the village whatever the leader of the they have laptops now it's like you know the technology what? got better I don't know <laughs> it like jumped point, light years <laughs> yeah it did no but they were like their technology was progressing as you watch or yeah. read the series but okay. it's pretty cool um, I'm not going to talk too much about it because it you need to read it if you don't know what I'm talking about. The second to last chapter, um, I got filled in about oh, yeah. pretty much I'll, everything. I'll tell you that. Second to last chapter, Sasuke final and... big showdown between Naruto and Sasuke. Um, some stuff happens, and it was honestly a little, to me, it was a little anticlimactic. Fight, yeah, it was anticlimactic. Little they kind fought of after up. five or four chapters. It was yeah. named for Sasuke versus, or Sasuke and Naruto, or Naruto and Sasuke, whichever. And they're, they used all their chakra, which is like an energy source that they yeah. use. And it's like... They fight each other and then they're just there lying. Yeah, being, and then they're the having, last they're having, are like them they're talking. having a chick flick moment yeah, on the it floor. Was, landed, it they're was, on the floor and they're like, "Why, why do you want to be Hukage or whatever?" And something, yeah, something, really and they're just looking at each other. And he's like, "Why do you want to save me?" He's like, "Do I have to explain myself again?" They're just having their chick flick moment. Yeah, and next thing you know, Naruto's like trying to get up, and Sasuke is like, "You still trying to fight me after all this, you know, f- fighting we just did." And he's like, I just want to keep beating you up so you could understand. I just want, you're like my brother. And then that's when you're like, tear moment. But it's not really tear jerking. And I, then, I was a little upset with the end. And then the last chapter the, the is the last, the like last panel. Year time the, skip, isn't it? Yeah. But the last panel of the fight scene where they're, I'm just going to get to that part, which is not. So dumb. I, I hate it because we know that Naruto is better than like yeah. everyone. It's and the name of the series is it's Naruto. Called, it's called he Naruto. He is the Goku of this of universe. This, yeah. Like So they're on the floor, and next thing you know, you see Sasuke crying, and Naruto's like, what just happened? And then the panel just, you know, the next panel, you see their arms are severed. And it's like, I'm not going to explain why. You probably know for all your fans out there, but I'm not going to say anything. They're just severed, and it's just like, that's it. Next chapter, time skip. And they have arms again, yeah. but it's covered in bandage. Yeah. We don't know how they got it. But, spoiler alert, the trailer for the new movie showed yes. them with prosthetic limbs. Yes, but so. it's still it's still bandaged. You don't, we don't know what's under that. Yeah. That's what's cool. And, yeah, that's going to be a movie which we'll talk more about that. And it might not. It would probably be canon, which makes sense. No, it is. I, yeah. It was released that it's going to be canon. Um, the movie takes place within this yeah, within 10 year time, time skip yeah. between chapters. Um, and Jay has a cool yeah. There was a picture of like to go in Naruto. This. It shows like Kakashi with his three kids. Kakashi's the, like their teacher or whatever. No. But in this one, it's Goku with Luffy, uh, Ichigo, and Naruto as kids. I mean, like you'll take this yeah. generation to anime and whatever, and it's cool. And he's like, yeah, uh, it's like Luffy Naruto says, and Luffy. Luffy from says one that's are... that's uh, that kid's gonna be big. And then he's like, yeah, he, rem- he reminds me of the early years. And he's like, take care, will you? He's like, save me a bowl of ramen because yeah. Naruto likes ramen. I was like, oh, yeah. No. And then you see a kids just yeah. like there. It was like really and cool. And they're talking to this. Who's this new kid? This new know? kid. It. I have. I actually want to start reading it. There's already six chapters of it already. And uh, I mean, it's called. In ja- I'm not gonna go in Japanese, but it's called My Hero Academy. This concept is pretty cool. Everyone in this world has superpowers except for the main character. That's and something. that's how you know he might have the most. He's beast. gonna be beast. Yes. Is like, and there's already six chapters, and he's supposed to take on the new series. Like, this is gonna be the new. This is gonna be series. the new Dragon Ball Z, the new like, Naruto. Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to take in that slot while Naruto is like, pe- uh, like petering out or whatever. Yeah. And One Piece is still going. Oh yeah, you asked me about the homage. It's yeah. basically like you know, not One Piece keep going because it's gonna be almost done. E- yeah. Bleach, I don't really care about because it's a horrible, horrible series. 
If you want to talk to me, meet me down here. <laughs> Horrible series, but I still read it because I started reading that in seventh grade, and I'm going to finish it. Jesus. Yes. I'm going to finish I'm it. I'm going to finish it. But anyway, yes. Uh, that, those are the – because I think One Piece takes um, anime – when it comes to like uh, ratings, I mean, you're also kind of biased because that's your. No, not anime. biased. It's it like as long series comes, not like okay. um no, like Attack I on Titan. You, yeah, but um yeah, that's why I'm for Naruto. So it was pretty cool. And now we're gonna talk about Shield because that's important. This past episode, <laughs> let me just say we're gonna be talking about spoilers. Like we're going yes. to spoil things. Well, and and knowledge because a lot of knowledge, knowledge dropping. There's there's some knowledge dropping. It. Blew my pants off. Like it was ridiculous. It wrinkled your brain. Blew your it pants off. It wrinkled my brain. Yes, you I just... have a fold in my cerebrum <laughs> right now. I love the things the you guys say. Lobe. Can we the... have like the usual suspect euphemisms and collect that and say it by the Can end we? of the year? Yes, that would we'll be the that. coolest I'll... thing to do. I think, I think I'm gonna make that. We should thing. probably look at the recordings and. I go definitely back. am yeah. because we need a, like uh, a list of euphemisms. I started with a bro dictionary. Remember that? Yeah. But I never finished it. No list of euphemisms that we need to gather by the end of this year. But that's good. So so no. Yeah, like it definitely wrinkled my brain. It okay, so ridiculous. this is gonna be a spoiler infiltration of. Also, I want to tally of how many times you guys say spoiler alert. Yeah, we need to <laughs> say super spoiler. This is complete the spoiler. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. 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 Uh, what was I going to say? But so let's yeah. like fast forward him going into the guy's house mm -hmm. who was up or he was an ex agent, but he doesn't know that because yeah, he his doesn't memory's been it. wiped. Yeah. And he, the guy's a welder. Yeah. And these guys have been drawing all this time. Everyone, yeah, everyone that's been exposed to this alien blood, blood, the Kree blood, has been going insane and carving these uh, symbols. No one really knows what they mean. Yeah. And then. Colson's able to piece it together saying that it's a map yeah, it's and they all go something. together. No, it's not a map. He's just like the pieces are missing. Yeah. That's oh, what he's saying. Oh, Sky actually says that it's a map. Yeah, he's like, is it a map? Is yeah. it a language? It's like and, none um, of these. It's not even star constellations. At the very end, when they go to this ex agent's house, they realize that he's been actually crafting it as well, but he but, didn't know it. It was subconscious and yeah. he made it into a train set. Which was yes. actually when they pulled back, they saw it. It was a city. It was a they city. They finally find out that this car here is, is not really the spoiler alert. But it's just knowledge dropping. What city is it, Jay? It's uh, it's at uh, I have it here. Atlan Atlian Atlan Atlantean. At no, it's Atlian at Adilin Adilin because it's supposed to be Atlantean. These are the inhuman. That's the inhuman. Adeline. That's the inhumans uh, city. city. Yeah. And which um super duper spoiler alert. alert. It's gonna be the movie. It's gonna be a movie. <laughs> but do you have questions for us, Spring? No. Damn. Anyway, <laughs> so, so I mean, this is really cool because this is
You're okay. going to have to start watching Did you hear the other name drop in the show? What? what, what name um, when um, Sky was like Micro. Whose name is that? His name is usually called Microchip. No, I didn't hear that at all. That's, you know, who's, well, not Psychic, his partner. Punisher? No way. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nerd freak out. No yeah, that's way. His, because she was like, yeah, he's such a crime geek. He's, oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. What? That's mind blowing. I didn't even realize yeah. that. I was like, who's Micro? And I was like, wait, Microchip? <laughs> that's mind blowing. Yeah. So. That's so cool. So it's connecting to the Inhumans, which is really cool. And um, what was I gonna say? Uh, Namor. I was thinking about Namor because he's he's half Atlantean, half mutant. Yeah. But do you think they'll include him? But in Universal the owns Namor, and there's how? Yeah, Kevin Feige saying he's trying to like work some. How paper. do they own him? I don't know. I don't know the history of with Namor. Did they ever make a movie? Never oh. Did. Wait, did they? Was it a ride? You know why they own him? Why? Because Universal owned a massive chunk of Marvel to make the theme parks oh yeah to that's make right, that's Islands right, of Adventure right. they made a Marvel but then Island it's like I guess what you see so they probably know. own his this like is, this character is what, this is what Kevin Feige could do He, you know how uh, uh, 20th Century Fox and Sony like already did their movies yeah. they haven't done a Namor movie they could still collab with them yeah. and just do their thing but they still own Namor yeah. they own his like representation I yeah. guess you know but so, um, with Inhumans mm-hmm. I guess they're gonna go through with it because that's gonna be their mutant type yeah, thing because 20th that'd Century be Fox is being you know stingy with their doo heads yes they're being poopy heads they're just being so mean and mm-hmm. Sony is just did you hear about the Aunt May thing I heard about it like two yeah, days ago yeah it was like weird like, what? I, was, I didn't want that to happen and then an they agent? said then they what? said that it got it got scrapped. Uh, I was really happy. Yeah, because I read I, that this morning that it got scrapped. I, yeah, I read it. I didn't read the full article. Yeah, they were going to make but a spinoff like, with Aunt May being an agent. She's and, not an agent. It's her parent. For parent. those of you who don't know who Aunt May is, oh, that's, she's from Spider Man. Yeah, sorry, that's yeah. a Peter, <laughs> sorry, we well, I, her nerdy. That's yeah. Peter Parker's <laughs> that's aunt that he lives with. Yeah. And um, but what? Yeah, they were going to make a spinoff movie where she's an agent, and then thank God they scrapped it this morning, saying that they were not going to do that. They're denying it. Thank God. Sony just needs to give it back to Marvel. Yeah, Sony needs to really give it back to Marvel so they can do really. Cool and if stuff. not, just collab. Just it's not that just hard. Just let it happen. What paper? What papers? Just, just put it in the thing, in the, the shredder, shredder. <laughs> and just work together. It's not that Basically. hard. Basically. And then, um, what do you have to say about Arrow? I mean, um, Flash. Oh, Flash! Just a little nerdy thing. It was a good episode, I'm but behind, I'm like, not gonna episodes. spoil something he does. But I'm spoiling something he else he does. He runs up a building, but you know oh, how yeah, he, you know okay. how he's learning. Yeah, he's yeah. talking to the guys. He's like, "Yo, how fast do I have to go to run up yeah. the building?" And then the guy, like Cisco, is doing the math. <laughs> he Cisco is Vibe. If you don't know who Vibe is, he's a character from Justice League and all that. And he's also one of he's part of he's Flash's part, team. Yeah, he's show. like you have to. He's doing the math in his head. And what's his name? The Doctor Wells. He's just like it's approximately this this and this yeah. and he just runs up the building saves the guy That's then comes so back cool. down. and I'm i can't wait till that. he vibrates through something that I, needs to happen i thought i saw it in the first or the second episode when he vibrates when his he, face no, no 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 when he uh saves the guy in the car remember there was like a oh uh, yeah i didn't see the car but that i watched it again the car door opens and yeah closes. he just does that. i thought he vibrated through the door grabbed him he wouldn't I was like, to do that because he needs to move very fast yeah he to used do that. to vibrate every single particle and, oh you don't want to know about the next episode yeah he, there's some to. guy who's like absorbing man but i'm not gonna get to that we could talk is about it that actually in- absorbing well man? absorbing man is marvel so oh yeah he just could <laughs> make himself I'm stupid why would i think of that I think that's it. But that's the wrap up. I think that's pretty much it. And humans was like, duh. Yeah, I can't. All right. Well, it is 2.59, so that means I literally just have a minute to say what happened in box office this week. So, that number one is Big Hero 6 beating out Interstellar. It was so good. I saw it. It was amazing. With 56.2 million, Interstellar came in at 50 million which so that means big uh big, big hero, hero six is. beat it out by six million which is actually that's like a big that's not like before with gone girl and ouija and uh, not ouija uh annabelle yeah. annabelle be almost be gone girl gone girl by one million really? what yeah. they almost almost, was almost. Even that gone good? girl beat it by one million no i don't think it was that good it was just the hype from, it's like, just the, the hype of it there's yeah. people oh, that like yeah, good movies people that like bad that. movies sir who are you please yeah. go away <laughs> anyway gross. at number three is gone girl at 6.1 million and then at number oh, four is Ouija. This guy is really making me uncomfortable. Yeah, he needs to go him. away. <laughs> <laughs> he wants your number. Sir, please leave. Anyway, at number five is St. Vincent with 5.7 million oh, in its fifth week. Too. Number six, Nightcrawler in its 
second week. Still totally making nineteen point eight, which is kind of that's disappointing. It? Yeah, it's supposed to be a good. Movie. It made five point it five in its past weekend. It's one. It's probably one of those good movies that's going to be looked over. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It happens. Number seven is Fury, made five point five also so in its fourth week, sixty nine point three in total. That's not really good. After that is John Wick, which is the Keanu Reeves I just the movie. I don't know why I always say Reeves. A lot of people are saying that that's like amazing, and which I is like, surprising because every time I, I look at Keanu Reeves, I think of Constantine, and that's never a good correlation. I didn't like Constantine. I just they, because the critics were saying the best movie since the matrix but i just want to see the action after that and that's it it's alexander and the terrible uh, terrible horrible no good very bad day and it's fifth week they're actually still, they're still million. advertising it but they've shortened the name on like on air they're just calling it alexander good because that movie's <laughs> ridiculous like I understand anyway after that number 10 is the book right. of life and it's fourth week totally making four point forty five point two million, but for like less than three million for, for like for a not so known animated film it's doing pretty, pretty well yeah. and then uh coming soon to theaters is the hunger games next week next friday oh for my those god of you i completely extreme. overlooked that are you being serious i did oh well, yeah. i always go to the midnight premiere I have well to go. we get go. your tickets now because i'm pretty sure everyone and their mom bought them Jesus. about a month ago about after that ago. is horrible bosses 2 yeah. which is coming out november 26th the imitation game and november 28th VHS viral, which I didn't see the first one, but that's coming out. Well, November viral is 21st. like the third or the fourth. Uh, yeah, they well, I didn't see either of them. <laughs> I think it, uh, for those I of think you who the love the Penguins of Madagascar, it's coming out with its own film. I actually November twenty sixth. After that is Wild, uh, December fifth, and Exodus: Gods and Kings, which is coming out December twelfth. Okay. Those are all the movies coming out. I don't see any other Oscar potentials besides the Exodus: Gods and Kings, but that's always just like a because yeah. that's Ridley yeah. Scott, I'm, right? Or is it Nolan? No, it's, it's not Nolan. It's, not Nolan. it's a Scott. I don't think it's really Scott either. Really Scott. Oh my god, I can't remember who it was. It's actually like a really well-known director. I'm trying too. to yeah, like it really quick. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Da, da, da. No, honestly, really Scott. Oh, it was really. It is really Scott. Scott. I, had, I had second guess, but I honestly don't. Want yeah, I feel like he stays away from movies like that. Though. That's why it's he so does. strange that he is doing this film. Like they're kind of hmm. like, I hmm. wonder if he's just like taking a chance with it. Like that's what a lot of people are saying. Because really, yeah. Scott usually does a lot of like he outlandish does things. He does a lot of sci-fi. Well, technically. This whole story is based off the whole Moses yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Exodus book that is from somewhat the Bible. of a sci-fi thing, though, because it's kind of weird. It's an odd occurrence. And don't say sci-fi. That's not that's mission not concern. Really sci-fi. <laughs> Why can you <laughs> imagine all of a sudden President Iyer? Like, <laughs> what did you say? No, I but, don't think it's sci-fi. Why would you say sci-fi? I'm it's just it's saying, fiction. I'm saying it's, it's like thing, I'm not literally you know? saying it's sci-fi. I'm just saying like the occurrences could like if it was a different movie, different uh, story, it could be identified as sci-fi. There should be lightsabers. I mean, how often does it happen that there's a river of blood? Just going crazy with lightsabers. And Christian Bale is in it, and then the guy yeah. from Oh, so it's gonna be Great like, Gatsby. It's gonna be like Batman meets Star Wars. Basically, awesome. I Basically. honestly <laughs> didn't want Christian Bale or the other guy to portray them because I feel like, you know, I you know, we're gonna talk about this another time just because it's three oh three. Okay. Really could, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, really quick stuff this that's going time. on in Iona. The Economics Club is hosting an alumni <laughs> panel featuring Iona alumni to network and share their insight on preparing for a job and surviving your first job, which is awesome. Free food and refreshments will be served, what so time? it's open to economics, business, and all other that's students. It's gonna take place November twentieth, which is next Thursday. 7 30 in Spellman Hall, which is the reception room. To RSVP, please email uh, CG, I don't know, CG Great Rex. That can't be real. At Iona.edu. Also, for those of you who have absolutely nothing to do tonight, guess what? There's a basketball game at 7 o'clock, and I believe it's, it's the first home game. First home game against Cleveland. Cleveland? I think. I'm pretty sure. I forgot to grab the thing from upstairs, but I'm pretty Cleveland. sure. It's Cleveland. Are you sure? A hundred. A hundred percent. Anyway, uh, there's also going to be free food around <laughs> six o'clock. So for those of you who are hungry, and we all know you are because you're college students. It is 3.04. I'm going to say goodbye because I am spring like the season. I'm the first J. Jesse Ruiz. I'm the second J. J. Whoa. That was a great way to end it off. Bye, guys. Uh,